Hi, this is Alan Willoughby. I want to thank you for viewing the property known as Shiloh Ranch today. This property is an amazing property of 131 acres with Cherry Creek running through the middle of it. It also has adjudicated water rights for a large pond, which is very rare for Colorado. The uh, site that you just saw drive by on the original gate is the um, indoor arena, the stalls, the um, basically the horse area. What you're seeing right now is a six and a half acre lot that was dedicated as just the entrance that is tree lined and in the summer is amazing with wildflowers and all of the trees. As we go down the driveway, you'll see a large 7,558 square foot, four bedroom, four bath house with massive living areas and a 71, 77 foot long deck. As you approach the house, you'll notice that it's all brick and uh, it has a walkout, sits on a hillside overlooking the pond, views of Pikes Peak, and the massive amounts of acreage. This is truly one of the finest horse properties in Colorado Springs and El Paso County. What you're seeing here is what I refer to as, as the north turnout. The exact acreage of this north turnout I do not know, but it's an amazing amount of grass with Cherry Creek in the bottom, and you'll notice that it's extremely large. The property follows the white fence that you've just viewed for this north turnout. As we come through the front door of this house, You'll notice the formal front of the property. It's got columns, opens into a very large dining room. And as you look out the windows, every area has complete privacy. It's truly an amazing property. That aisleway you just went by passes through to the kitchen. That's the informal area in the back. And then this is the formal sitting room with a formal fireplace. And again, great views overlooking the front of the property. As you look out front, you can tell how much privacy there truly is. As we move to the back of the house, you'll notice a gourmet's kitchen. The place is amazing. It's totally updated. Newer appliances, granite countertops, opens to a big bar, and then into an eating nook that has amazing views overlooking the pond and Cherry Creek in the bottom of a valley. The valley creates a walkout on the lower level accommodating the same type of views. As we pan to the right, you'll notice a very large informal living area on the main level. Um, allows the family to enjoy holidays together in a very warm and relaxed setting. This is a slightly different view from the kitchen and nook area looking back across the informal living area. One of the things I wanted to show in this is as we pan back across one of the eating bars, and back into the kitchen nook area, you'll see Pikes Peak in the background for quite an amazing view in the morning. We have now moved out onto the 77 foot long deck with amazing views of the pond, the indoor arena, the outdoor arena, and Pikes Peak, all the paddocks and turnouts, the second white fence that you see here is the back side of the property or the west side of the property. Then we move to the north end and again you'll see um, the fence in the far distance at that point is the north boundary of the property. Here's another shot of the pond and then I'll pan into the backyard. You'll notice that the backyard is fully fenced with a play area and a lower level patio. Allows a lot of security for the kids when they're playing in the back. When the kids move inside to get to the basement, they've installed a full slide. The dogs and the kids all love that. We now move into the master bedroom. It's very large, has a double walkout out to the 77 foot long deck. It also has amazing views of Pikes Peak in the back pastures. We now move into an amazingly large master bath. It has double vanities, also has a makeup table, obviously has a uh, 
separate bathtub and a separate shower. And as we pan around to the left, you'll notice that it walks to a uh, stool area and a 22 foot long master closet. We now move into the lower level. You'll notice all the light on the right. That's because this is a large walkout with the same amount of windows as the main level. As we walk to the left, we're going to approach the large workout facility. Um, great place for an in-home gym, obviously. We're now panning back past the wet bar again into the gaming area with a pool table and a foosball table. You'll notice the window configuration is the same as that on the main level. And as we go to the right, you'll see that the living area down here is as large or larger than that on the main level. Now let's pan across the backyard. You can see the fenced in area for the kiddos and a very large back patio. We will now tour the lower three bedrooms, one of which has its own ensuite bath. It's a very cute uh, room right there. You'll also see when we get into the hall that the bath that serves the other two bedrooms is extremely large. We're going to pan the backyard again so that you can get some idea of what it feels like closer to the valley. You can notice that there's a little fishing dock there. And as we pan back, this road is a separate access back out to Black Forest Road and accesses the house behind, which belongs to the owner as well. That property is also available for $650,000 on almost 40 acres. As we pan back again, you can see the fantastic views the sight of all the grassland, which is truly amazing in the springtime with the wildflowers and a front turnout. As we drive now, we'll be heading back down towards the address 18620, which is the entrance into the arena area. It never ceases to amaze me the views on this particular property. Everywhere you look, it is just stunning. Uh, the landscaping, the white fence, the buildings are all in fantastic shape and hopefully you'll notice that as we now pull into the arena area. There are two arenas, an indoor arena that's 300 by 150. that is all lit and heated with a commercial kitchen. I think I may have already mentioned that. Attached to that, as we drive down, you'll look on the right side of that large arena, there's a wing building that contains eight more heated stalls with um, frost-free waterers. As we pull down, you'll notice what I would refer to as the south turnout. They have run-in sheds and again are fully supplied with uh, white vinyl fence. As we approach, you can see straight ahead is an outdoor arena. Plenty of uh, parking for horse trailers and um, certainly enough to run large uh, events at this particular property. We are now in the 300 by 150 indoor arena. You'll notice the daylight panels at the top of every wall. You'll also notice that it's full clear span uh, steel building, which uh, is fantastic uh, to allow large events. You'll see an announcer stand. You'll see Rayovac heat over the entrance area into the kitchen. This area will allow for enjoyment for anybody that is willing to show up for a horse event. We're now in the kitchen. You'll see the commercial kitchen area and at where that door is open you go down those hallways or indoor bathrooms. 
Now back into the parking area looking south. Right there is the main house on the property. And as we pan back, you can get some idea of just how large um, that indoor arena facility is. We're gonna continue to pan to the right and you'll see the outdoor arena. The fencing on that is all high pressure fiberglass piping that uh, failed during testing for high pressure oil and gas use. It's an amazingly rugged fence. Um, it's horse and people safe. Uh, this arena was set up for roping. The current user is a uh, hunter jumper user and it would be perfect for venting because of the available water. As you look down the stalls, you can see what great shape this building is still in. You'll notice the Rayovac heat. Um, as we go down, you'll notice that the stalls all have exterior access for feed and grain. This is the wash stall. It's got garage doors that open up on both ends um, with coated uh, overhead door. It's quite an amazing facility, as I've said in the past. This facility also accommodates uh, frost-free water in every stall. We're now approaching the hay and grain storage building with eight attached stalls. As we go by, you'll see wood chips for footing, the manure pile, you look down the fence line and that's the son's house. Now you're looking at the outdoor turnouts. Each one of the stalls has its own paddock. This is the ranch hands quarter. We're now panning back towards the house and we're going to cross the property looking at the pond. It's hard to tell at this particular point because it's uh, approaching winter and the grass has pretty much died back, but this particular property produces lots of grass hay uh, that would be great to use or sell to people that are boarding your facility. Could be a large money maker, uh, give you a little better return on your horse business. We are now viewing the property from the west boundary. As we follow the white fence across, you're going to eventually see the house appearing out of the trees. This is the rear view of the house. We're then going to pan back across the lake and you'll see the arena uh, quite a ways off in the distance. The property line goes probably 700 yards, have not measured it to the south of the arena. And pretty much the fence line is immediately on the right.